Well, moths like these are starting to emerge. It's the time of year when they're looking for trees to lay hundreds of eggs, furthering their spread. CBS 13's Mel Meyer is in Waterville with the experiment that could curb these pests. 12 structures that look sort of like this one are being put up in four Waterville parks. They're being put in spots that have previously dealt with brown tail moth infestations. Waterville um, has been especially hit as the rest of Maine. Carrie Wynn is a recent Colby graduate and this is her project. She's looking at the relationship between brown tail moths and nighttime lights, especially around trees that the invasive species likes. Early in the morning, I'm going to be coming out here, taking pictures, um, basically counting up all the moths that we're seeing here. As part of this, some lights will be left on, others will be turned off. If we get positive results there, uh, then we can make recommendations about limiting light pollution. Thomas Klepak is her advisor. He's a visiting assistant professor of biology at Colby and a city councilor. As part of city government, we're uh, looking for ways to deal with the problem, ways that uh, are cheaper and not uh, toxic. And that can be shared with others because this has to be part of a larger effort. We're really uh, looking for strategies that we can give those communities, uh, things that they can do that can help lessen the, the infestation. Any other sort of more long-term solution is probably uh, a good, good shot to at least try. Kaya Serborg works at a summer camp that has been dealing with this issue. Fortunately for her, she's immune from the toxic hairs. But uh, everyone I've worked with, all the kids at camp, it's, yeah, like the, the full, full rash, full thing. It's a really prevalent problem that we're trying to address here. The structures will be around through the end of the month, and if the experiment goes well, they could be put up again next year. In Waterville, Melmire, CBS 13 News.